Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Hawkins Simmer and today we're doing another speed build. So you may recognize this. I'm sure if you followed me for a long time, you know that like one of my favorite YouTubers is Lil Simsy, aka Kayla. She's recently put out a couple of shell challenges and I love doing shell challenges, but honestly, I haven't done like the last two or three that she's put out. Um, and I'm bummed about it, but I don't know. I just like, I wasn't, I don't know why. I've been busy, first of all, and there's just been other things on my mind and things that I've wanted to do creatively. So I've skipped it. But she recently uploaded these cute little, I think she's calling it the Old Salt Townhomes. This is on that residential lot kind of in the middle of San Myshuno. And she made these row houses these three houses and I just I loved it she didn't furnish them it's not a shell challenge by any means but I just decided that I was going to furnish them mostly because I wanted to do an academia style like home and there's really not a good way to do that in a single living I have some ideas and I tried to do it actually but it didn't work out but I just decided to download these and they will be a three part series. So definitely check back. They'll be back to back on the channel, I believe, unless something really wild comes up. But anyway, Kayla kind of had some like inspiration for each of the apartments. Um, this one, I think she, I believe she wanted it to be for like a family. So that's kind of what I went for. And then the next one, I don't know if that one she had real like ideas for but the one on the very end the third build will be a couple of like grannies that live together but this one is a family home and she used these beautiful front doors and they were just this bright cherry red color and then I don't know what caused me to go for the baby blue I oh the blanket on the couch so the couch and the chairs are from paranormal stuff oh love and the blanket on the couch was that like fun kind of not quite baby blue, but sort of baby blue color. So I just went for this red and blue together. I know this isn't like a very typical color scheme, but I thought it really worked in here. It seemed fun and young. And I just realized that I was talking like 14 miles a minute. Um, so, you know, I will try to slow down. Um, I was at the doctor yesterday and the doctor was like, um, are you all right? You're basically on the verge of having a stroke due to your blood pressure. So that's fun for me. Um, she took it again once I had been there talking to her for like 15 minutes and it was literally normal. Um, so I don't know. We're just going to keep a close monitor on it. She, she literally, I was like, how, okay, it's high, but like how serious is it? Cause it's usually not high. She was like, Leah, you are literally going to have a stroke. Like you're very on the verge of it, girl. And we've seen each other for a long time. So like we are pretty close. And oh, so, you know, just here talking 3000 miles a minute because my blood is just pumping through my veins at the most ridiculous rate. But I'm going to try to take a breath and just chill for a sec. Okay. Here's your reminder to take nice, big, deep breaths. It's good for your body and it's good for your brain. Okay. Let's get right back into this. So Simsy had quite a few walls in these. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I think it definitely limits how well you can use the space, or at least for me. I don't like to do a lot of closed off separate rooms, which is hilarious because in real life, I like more of a separated living space and not quite as open concept as what is popular right now. But because these are kind of row houses, like they're essentially a shotgun house, where it's just one hallway, sort of walkway down one side of the house and all the rooms are boom, boom, boom. You know, I'm using my hands to talk, but you can't see that. But you know what I'm saying. So I felt like in these, there's enough, like the way it's separated, it's not all just one big room, even though it kind of is, but I think it's nicely separated. So this first floor is totally open concept, living, kitchen, dining in the very back. I think Kayla originally would have had it swapped and had the kitchen in the very back, but I always think like you don't necessarily need a view when you're cooking dinner, but it's nice to have a good view with windows while you're in your living room and eating dinner in your dining room. So on these row houses, like the idea is that 
in real life, there would be lots and lots and lots of these side by side all down the block. So most of the apartments won't have windows on the sides. They'll just have windows front and back. I just thought it would be better to have the living and the dining room on the outside of the build and have the kitchen in the middle. So this actually is a lot of space. Your Sims have a lot that can like a lot of seating and a lot of like I know you don't really like you can host parties obviously in the game but like I know that the things that apply in real life just don't apply in the sims but I feel like if this was a real apartment and someone was living here um there would just be a lot of room you know for entertaining and first of all I'm just like what is everyone doing where they're entertaining people so much I'm confusion um but also Kayla had, I totally switched up the floor plans. It's not a shell challenge. It's not a challenge at all. So I didn't feel bad doing that. This third floor was kind of, I remember her saying in the video though, she was like, really, since this one is for families, you could take space from this other one and kind of work that out. So I ended up doing that. I switched up the floor plan and on the second floor, there are two bedrooms and two bathrooms, including a primary suite. And then up another floor, so the third floor, there is another bedroom and another bathroom. I kind of thought that maybe the third floor was a room for a teenager. I had this idea in my head that the um, the adults in this family, like someone, one of them was like a teen parent, um, and so they have a much older child, and then they remarried later in life. So they have a toddler on this floor with them. So maybe they have like a 14 year old and like a three year old. Um, I actually have a friend. I built her a cute little tiny home in my friendship community challenge who I think, man, how old were we? I feel like I think Marissa was 21 when she found out her dad and stepmom were pregnant and it was like so sweet and they're like the best of friends it's literally so great she was an only child for 21 years and then got a baby sister and it's so cute and she well the relationship is so cute and the child is also adorable um but yeah I kind of thought maybe this was a situation sort of like that and I don't know I just thought how cool would it be as a teen to have like your own floor to your Yourself. So essentially, this apartment is three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, which is like a lot, but the space did not really allow for another good size bedroom. Um, but it was awkward space if you didn't have like another bathroom. So I just made it so that it, there were enough bedrooms and bathrooms for everyone on every floor, basically. Um, but I kind of thought that this couple, the first floor had been totally, totally updated. And maybe the like upper floor is not as updated. But really, I just kind of liked <laughs> this striped wallpaper. I wanted to keep the theme of the like softer blue color throughout the house. There's not as much red throughout the house, but I think the blue kind of carried on pretty well. Um, I like this bedroom. I love, love, love that rug from uh, Strangerville. I think it works really well in most rooms. I wish we had more rugs like that, like true, like, um, you know, not, what's the word I want to say? Like, not, the word coming to mind is mandala or like, uh, medallion but those are not the words I can't think of the words I want to use for this type of rug but like the type of rug that has like a like a border and then more of a medallion like in the middle of it um I don't know if you know the word for that go ahead comment that down below um but I wanted to have common themes throughout all three apartments almost like they had the same contractors updating them, but they were allowed to pick their finishings on their own, sort of. So you'll notice throughout the three builds that um, the bathrooms all have the same tile, just in different swatches. This is tile from the Vampires pack. So in this apartment, I originally put down blue, but I ended up wanting to have blue in the third apartment. So I switched this one to the same style, but red instead of blue. These floor tiles are so fun, and I literally love them and use every excuse. My favorite one is the one with the yellow. I think that one is so fun, and like the, the type of floor that if you were to move into a home, like you would want to keep it because it's so 
dated (laughs) and like vintage I guess really like is a better word but anyway this whole time I've been jabbering on I've been doing the toddler's room I went with this um green scheme I use the only cute toddler bed I will try to link the last video I did where I complained heavily about how annoying and ugly the toddler beds were Um, but we're just moving on to the teens room upstairs I thought again they were probably 14 15 like a, a decent amount of time in between uh this child and the toddler Um, but yeah I just wanted this one to be kind of feminine and soft and I used my favorite bedroom set from Snowy Escape so yeah while we're doing this room I just wanted to say thank you I recently set a goal on Twitter of reaching my first 100 subscribers here on YouTube and 400 Uh, followers on Twitter and I did reach that goal. My birthday is coming up. It's May 27th and I just wanted to set a little birthday goal for the month of May and I reached it and it's really exciting and fun. I just want to say thank you so much whether you literally just started following me or you've been here for a while. I really appreciate it. YouTube has never been something I've thought I would ever be able to make money for. I totally understand how saturated the market is. It's honestly just something that pushes me to do something I enjoy. Um, The type of anxiety and depression I have caused me to not always indulge in things that I know will make me happy and are a good creative outlet for me. So feeling like there is a responsibility in doing it helps me to to do it. And I enjoy doing it. I really enjoy building. I was doing it anyway. I've learned a lot of new skills with editing and just uploading and all of that stuff too. It's been really fun. So it's really not about the numbers, but (laughs) it's still nice to know that there are people that have connected with what I do or we've connected mutually. And I just wanted to say thank you for being here and for commenting and liking or whatever. It means a lot and I'm not going to cry. But yeah, so thank you. If you liked this build, please find your way back here. I upload Mondays and Thursdays at around 4 p.m. I will be doing the next two apartments over the next two builds. So definitely make sure to subscribe and come on back to catch the other two. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope the world is treating you well and I will see you in the next one. Bye.